He talks about, I'm going to call this real simple, everyone, the duty of Christian compliance. This is quite simple. Look at this. He says, this is also why you pay taxes. Can I hear an amen? I don't, I don't know about that. <laughs> Some people underline their Bible and other people just score it out. They just scratch it out, okay? <laughs> this is also why you pay taxes for the authorities. This one is massive. Everywhere. For the authorities are God's servants. Do you realize that, um, the, the, that the Bible, the Old Testament was written in Hebrew, but for the Greek readers, they couldn't read Hebrew. So there was a Greek translation done. And listen to this here. In the, in the Old Testament, in the temple... It talked about God's servants, the priests. There's a Greek word used for it. Paul uses the same words for politicians. He says, he says they're actually, they maybe don't even realize it, but they're serving me. I'm the boss. I'm ultimately in charge. Does that mess with your head, everybody? Wow, okay, all right. Who give their full time to governing. Give to everyone what you owe them. And if you owe taxes, pay taxes. If revenue, then revenue. If respect, then respect. If honor, then honor. Just, I mean, just, well, what is Paul saying at this moment in time? Paul's just saying this here. Real simple, everybody. He said, you've got one job and your job is to promote Jesus and get people to look at Jesus and commit their lives to Jesus. And there's a whole lot of stuff in Rome that needs change, but that's not your primary job. It's important and you might be involved in it, but still your number one job is to promote Jesus. And if you start getting into civil, civil disobedience over all of this stuff, you're losing the prize. You're taking your eyes off the prize. Again, that smart guy, N.T. Wright, he says these words. I think they are awesome words. He says, no good will come to the cause of the gospel by followers of Jesus being regarded as crazy dissidents who won't cooperate with the most basic social mechanisms. If we're demonstrating against everything, people just think we're crazy. Yes, we become known as the people for what we're against instead of what we're for. And do you know what the history of Bayside has been? We're the people. We're for God. We're for the community. We're for the brokenhearted. We're for the lost. Yes, we're for healing the world. That has been our legacy.